Hello, and welcome to me. We are indeed live. Hello, Twitch. Yes, we are. Hello, hello, and welcome once again. We're back. We are back to Final Fantasy and Tomba, but first, Final Fantasy. A Final Fantasy that is already shaping up pretty well, so I am wanting to jump right back into it. Let's do just that. Get blinded a little by brightness. Make sure that OBS, there it goes. And where were we? Where were we indeed? We were on the ocean, apparently. Sailing around, trying to find, well, exploring, really. So, we're going to continue with that. Oh yeah, it was the castle where no one was there, for some reason. And killer fish. But that, that's about normal for any Final Fantasy. The oceans are infested with those, with evil fish. And other similar creatures. Well, there's a tower. Tower of Owen? Who's Owen? Why does he have his own tower? He must feel pretty cool if he has his own tower. Uh huh. We got some frogs. All right. Yes, we don't need to hear about the golems again. You already told us fury. And those not just harpies? Furious harpies. Perhaps that's why they're called furious. Saw oh, something. Shall we dive under? And how exactly are we supposed to do that? Maybe we have to become frogs first. Oh. We need to be frog. How do we be frog? Well. We're gonna have to figure out how to be frog. We also can't sail through the giant water cyclone, unsurprisingly. So why is Robotnik so damaged? I don't know, but... How about you don't be damaged? There we go, nice and healed. Well, um, that. Oh, this is the destroyed town. Um, that leaves me wondering where to go. There is a. Another town I can access by land. Yeah, the the town on the bottom west side of the map seems to be the only one I can access. Also, one moment. I notice mm, my background elements. Uh, something in my background is not being properly gotten rid of by green screen technology. Very interesting. Let me edit that for one second. Alright, that should be better. Okay. Um, so yes. We're gonna head to this town down there, methinks. 
I wish I had a bed somewhere to rest in. Do I have, like, a cottage? I'm not gonna use it now if I do, but... Oh well, we'll be fine. We just gotta get to the town. Knockers. Oh, we just gotta knock them out. I forgot my, uh, red mage had blizzard. Not necessarily a waste of magic. We'll be doing just fine. But they do have more health than I initially anticipated. Okay, so... There we go. Now we will... There's also a forest here. But I must wait until I find out what's in there, because we're stopped by... Gorgon and Lizardmen. Some very derpy looking Lizardmen. But Lizardmen nonetheless. They must not judge those Lizardmen. Alright, now what is here? Oh. Well, these are some good woods then. Smells like chocobos. I wonder why. Oh, I can use something here? Well, I don't have anything, possibly. Is there like... No, I don't know. Chocobo giddy up. Well, now I could technically explore elsewhere. I see our island is floating. It's not a continent, like I originally anticipated, it's literally a floating island. I, uh... Guess I didn't really think about that when I looked at this map, huh? Oh, get out of here, Chocobo, I need to go to town. And hopefully, they have a bed. Village of the Ancients. There's no chests and one item. We are descendants of the Ancients, creators of civilization as you know it. We live in harmony with nature, as is our creed. Okay, well... Do you have a good bed? 120 gil a night. Holy moly. I mean, I'm gonna pay it, but goddamn. Let's, uh, buy some potions. And I think... I mostly have everything else I want. Probably. Alright, time to pay that exorbitant price to rest. Get our magics back and all that. It'll be fine. Yeehaw. I'm sure the one item that I can get in this town isn't just something random, but I'm still going to check. Let me talk to you from up here. Damn it. You got anything to say, kid? I dare you to circle the whole continent on a chocobo. I'll give you a prize if you do. Well, clearly this is more important, because I've been dared, so, because I've been dared, we're going to do that. Plus we'll get a nice look at the whole continent while we do it. What a weird dare as well. Though I can only wonder what the reward might be. Yeah, there's a town I can't get to, because, uh, mountains is unfortunate. But, we get to enjoy a very lovely rendition of the Chocobo theme. Okay. So that counts, right? I, I, I did, in fact, go around. Okay, give me my reward. You actually went and did it! You made it all the way around the continent on Chocobo! Here's your prize! 
I'm not gonna say that wasn't worth it, but it, it really... I don't know. Anyone got any weapons for me? Like an actual thing that I desire? Wicked Slayer, Serpent Swords, some staves. Uh, I'm happy with what people got, I think. What about uh, the shield shop? But they've got the armors. Um, everyone can wear a mage robe, and it's better for everyone? Alright. Alright, it sure is. I... See, I don't know if I should sell my old armor, because, like, what if I change class and then they can't wear anything but some old thing I have. Which won't be good, but will be better than nothing. The Wrath of Light, a catastrophic flood of power, was caused by the Ancients. The Flood of Light. That is the thing that happened in Final Fantasy XIV in one storyline, actually. A fun fact. They used the crystals to harness the power of light, but struggled to contain its burgeoning energy. Light was unleashed on the world, causing untold ruination of all, to all of humanity. In the end, four warriors from the world of darkness came and subdued the Flood of Power. The few remaining ancients were grouped and came to live here in this village. Four warriors of darkness, perhaps. Would you believe me if I said this whole continent was floating in the air? I mean, I literally saw clouds, so... yeah. True, the ancients discovered a way to suspend the very earth. A wonder that continues to this day. The Tower of Owen provides the power that keeps us afloat. Well, Owen is a great, great dude. What can I do for you? Ah, oh, that's good. Oh, displays a detailed map, so then I don't even need the Gnomish Bread. You can be damned sure I'm buying that. You know, I'm gonna buy two, just in case. Um. Does my white mage not have blind now? No, they have poison, I think. Or do they? Oh, it doesn't say I own it, so I'm gonna assume. Alright, so magic. Learn sight, learn teleport, and learn blind now. There we go. And same with you. Learn sight. Alright, we'll learn Cura Teleport from Blind now. Remove... Fire. And learn Sight. Because I want to be able to see. I want the power of Sight. Chocobo's nest in a forest due, due, due east of here. Have you been by any chance? Yeah, and I've been around the world on a Chocobo. Um, yeah. Floating continent. Cool, cool. How am I, my lady? Light and dark are living forces. When the time is right, they choose four young heroes unto whom they bequeath their powers. The warriors of dark were four such people, chosen to save the world from the wrath of light. But the balance has shifted once more, and it is up to you to restore the light. Do not abuse this awesome power. You put one rule, surrender to the greater will of the world. One cannot rely on modern machinery. I mean, it depends on what the modern machinery is for. Oh, I didn't even need to uh, use the bed, did I? No, that's just a KO revive, that's fine. Um, so I didn't really get an item, which makes me wonder if I still can get an item, if there's an item to get here. Isn't King Argus supposed to know something about airship engines? I, I don't know. The castle's empty, I don't think that's really helpful. Mr. Dude. Well, I can't help but wonder if I did miss an item, in fact. It says there's a singular item to get here. I see no other buildings that I could potentially enter. Um... Perhaps we'll find something, and perhaps we won't. Perhaps I need to come back here as part of a quest. Either way, that's kind of 
Interesting. I did not... Well, that doesn't really help us, then, does it? So, yeah, out of all the areas on the map, we can visit... Potentially... Two of them. Past the castle on that same general landmass, so we can walk to another foresty area. And a cave, presumably? So I think that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take the chocobo to our boat. The chocobo. Um, thanks, Chocobo. Killer fish. We meet again. But you are no match for me. Be gone with the... Uh, let's check out the forest first, methinks. Gorgon and Lizard Man. He's a man of the lizard folk. And easily beaten. By some nunchucks. What is here? Here is... Oh! More chocobo woods in another area to use something which I do not possess. Does this count as a different? It does count as a different chocobo woods, technically. So there are two chocobo woods. Fine, I suppose. Doesn't help me as of this current moment, but that's fine. Golgan Gulch. Where the blind people live, according to Ding Dong. This is Golgan Gulch. You should know that we Golgans are born sightless. How will we make up for our lack of vision with a sixth sense? Some of our kind can even see the future. We serve the wind crystal, a source of light, and the that whose power has been bestowed upon you. Henceforth, you must go to the crystal of fire, water, and earth. They will grant you greater powers than you already possess. Earth's power sealed away the other three sources of light. The Earth Crystal may have been sealed in a similar fashion. I sense the Fire Crystal's power is centered on the island of the Dwarfs. When Crimson Flames threaten the tower's destruction, he who alters fate's course will awaken to his destiny. What? Okay. We stay sequestered away in this gulch for those who know the future should not dare to influence fate. I see a future of both light and darkness, but this is by no means set in stone. Living Woods. The sentient forest calls to you. I see a future... yeah. Do you anything new? The Great Earthquake is only the beginning. The tremors tore the land asunder of the crystals. Sources of the world's light were swallowed into the depths as monsters emerged from the chasms not destroying the earth. But that was nothing compared to the catastrophe to come. Let's see. Is there anything in Golgan Gulch? There's three chests. Oh, I don't know where the item is, but I'm taking the three chests. Ice rod, mage robe, fire rod. Don't think that I need any of this. But we're just gonna find out. Oh. Well, black mage apparently wants rods more than daggers. Which is fair. I have been expecting you. Take the spell and use it to enter the Tower of Owen to the north. Your destiny awaits you there, Dash. Why Dash? What about me? Received a toad. Dash's destiny awaits him in the Tower of Owen. Okay, well, that's fine and dandy for Dash. This toad, toad is white. Alright, well. Now we are toad. Or we can be toad. Toad or not to toad? That is the question. Well, that is unfortunate. Yeah, it probably is not even a big deal. Oh, well, my white mage just took a lot of damage, so maybe it is a big deal. I'm just gonna deal with it as is. And there we go, it's dealt with. 
What are you doing over there? We don't do that. No. All right. And now we go to the boat. Well, the tower is up there, but I'm so in trouble by boat. Just gotta get rid of these sea elementals first. Tower of Owen, where we're almost at. All right, and here we are. It's time to toad, presumably. Let's get over there, because I'm assuming it'll make a suck at combat, just like Mini does. Wow, our uh, Sonic really punches hard. Alright, uh, now this is where we need to swim, so... My white mage is silenced. Do I have anything to unsilence them? Do not. Wonderful. So... We need to go back and buy an item to... To your silence. Silence means no magic. Alright, well, um... The nearest shop... Oof, where is the nearest shop, actually? Oh, it's the Hagen. Haven't seen them in a while. Final Fantasy 1, I think. Boom. Get off of my boat. This is actually a town where I can buy something. It is. Okay. It's Canaan. Okay, well... First, I'm going to take a nap. And now that the nap has been taken, um, remove silence. Yeah, we're just going to buy like 10 of those because we apparently need them. I'm going to buy some more antidotes. Um, some more eye drops. And golden needles. So now... If we are unfortunately afflicted with a status ailment that is very bad, it will not be as big of a deal. Yeah. See, so if you don't want to dance, then you better not show up on stream, kitty. Pugman. What is Pugman? Who is Pugman? I don't know, but they are dying, man. Alright, well, here we are again. With no silence this time, so let us load it up. Oh wow. Amazing. All right, we're frogs now. Let's get going. I'm 
hoping that I can not be a frog now. Uh, yes. So in this dung, in this dungeon, we got nine chests, no items. Welcome to the Tower of Owen. I hope you like it here, for it shall be your final resting place. This place looks familiar. Maybe Dash is really Owen. That's why fate has brought him here. It's his tower. He's got a set thing as right. Or something like that. Maybe we've got to sacrifice him on the altar of the temple of the Tower of Owen to keep powering the floating island. Also possible. Would Owen be so eager to rush forward to meet fate if that was what was in store? Perhaps not. Maiden's Kiss. Pretty sure it removes Toad. Oh yeah, um... I mean, they're not strong. It shouldn't even be a big deal that they're back attacking us. So I will do a white mage heal. So while I do still prefer more modern magic systems of MP instead of the weird... Like, it technically is MP, but it's really spells per day because it's MP by spell level. Um, at least they give you way more, um, MP per spell level, so I don't have to, like, hoard my magic like I would in Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> Wait, I, I remember. I'm an ancient. Oh, so you're a grandpa. Okay, got it. Well, Desh, that would explain your amnesia. We'll get you back to your home. Turfing. Well, turfing, we're going upstairs in. Your soul shall wander these sudden halls forever! I remember now, there's a hidden switch on the fifth floor. It's on the eighth section wall from the left. Are we on the fifth floor? We must be, because there's no other way to go. Oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Wait. That's not eight. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Right? One, two, three, four, one, two, three. You lying son of a bitch. Almost certainly is not the eighth. Alright. Excellent. Get that chest. Another Maiden's Kiss. And... Yeah, I, I already, we already did that. We still need six chests, and here are two of them. No, 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 no climbing my face. It's not what we do during Final Fantasy, is it, huh? Alright. Echo Herbs Bomb Fragment. And now we go up. There's another chest here. We will get to. Uh, silencing us again. They are enemies of free speech. I'm gonna bonk them with my staves. Um, where is the thing? Well, 
I'm not even using magic right now, so I'll wait till I'm using magic to remove the silence. Well, there's some echo wave, so there you go. Augiski? Augiski? Whatever that means. And here we have two more chests, which would bring us to just one shy of what we need. Oh wait, there's three chests, never mind. Salaman sword? I'll have to see if anyone can use that after we dispatch these. And honestly, probably after I get the remaining chests, just in case there's more gear. Flame mail. Zeus's wrath. Alright, he can use a sword, not Salaman sword, though. Um, now I'm gonna take the Echo Herbs. Hopefully, they don't just get silenced again. Hopefully not. At least it missed twice in a row. Who are you? I am Medusa. We'll destroy this tower in the name of Zandi. The continent will plummet from its place in the skies. He he he. You will not interfere now. Die. Oh. You're looking a bit weird there, Medusa. Medusa is literally a Medusa head. Well, given that they're red, I'm gonna assume they're fiery and weak to ice. It seems. Seems about right. I don't see his arrow. Oh yeah, well, that is a lot of magic damage. Even arrow kind of did a lot. Well, that time it didn't. I'm gonna... Blizzard. And then I'm gonna use Shura. And Kira. Alright. Then, um... Yes, we're gonna attack. So the Zara, which did not do a ton of damage. And with that, Medusa is Mededza. Wonderful. The flames lick and flare wildly. An explosion looks imminent. No, don't go near it. I, I remember now. I'm one of the remaining agents, the watchman of this tower. It's only supposed to awaken if something happened to the tower. Oh, that's what that blind person was talking about. But I was asleep for so long, my memories were scrambled when I woke up. I forgot my purpose. This doesn't look good. I think I know how to stabilize the flames, but I can only do it from inside the reactor. I have no choice. This tower is the only thing keeping the continent afloat. If it blows, we'll all fall right out of the sky. Farewell. Thanks for all your help. Yeah, stop. You'll die. This is my destiny. Oh, his destiny really is to die. Don't worry. Once I repair the furnace, that whirlpool should stop as well. Then you can search for the Dwarven Island. That's where you'll find the fire crystal. Once I'm in, I'll warp you all outside. It's been a blast. Literally. And then here I go. Dash.
Oh, that, that's one. That's one way to solve that. But more importantly for us, the whirlpool's gone, so we can go to the Dwarven Island. And given that there is a singular island on the map, I think we know where to go. Wow, a mermaid. A, a mermaid with a, a very nice looking sprite. And now she's dead forever. Also, that seahorse looks demonic. Um, so what is this? This. Why is there a chocobo woods on an island? Like... Oh no! Great job, chocobo. We, we can do so much with you. What is this then? Molten cave. A wall of fire is obstructing the path. Well, time to give up. So we're gonna go over here. Good old dwarves. Lally ho! Lally ho! Um, there are a lot of chests and an item to find in the Dwarven Hollow. Oh, they're gonna be Scottish again, aren't they? Oh, they're not actually Scottish this time. The treasured horns are delicately carved out of ice, but that conniving thief stole one. Scoundrel. Lally, no! The Horn of Ice was stolen. That horrible villain Gutsko took one of our Horns of Ice. They ran off to the subterranean lake, but dwarfs don't float. How are we supposed to get our treasures back? That horrible villain... Yeah, I think I, you said the exact same thing as a friend. Ow, so that's what an invisible barrier looks like. Well, how did they steal it if there's an invisible barrier? Riddle, riddle me that. How could you let him get away? You gotta get that horn back from that thief hurry to the underground lake. What can I do for you? That is a good question. I can buy an ice helm. I suppose. Um, and this is a weapons shop. What can I do for you? Uh, you know, that's a good question. What can you do for me? All right, just quickly ban a spam bot, and there we go. Anyway, we're back to stream. Um, fire staff and ice staff are the same. Oh, I'll just buy one of each again, and... Oh, I thought he was gonna dual wield them, but apparently the sword is better. Still, but... Like, I don't have a ton of money. I should probably sell some stuff. I probably don't need the leather armor. Keep the flame mail and get rid of the shell mail. Um, so we can have some more money. You know where the village of Geishal is? I'll tell you, it's across the outer sea, far, far to the east. The village of Geishal, like Geishal Greens? There used to be a shimmering glass tower up in the northern mountains, but after the earthquake, it disappeared. Now there's just a cave in its place. You don't say. Welcome, we have rooms for 80 gil a night. Would you like to stay and rest your body and mind? I think I would. Party is well rested. What can I do for you? I don't think there's anything you can do for me. Where's all the chests that supposedly I'm able to access? Maybe they're in the basement. I must rob the dwarfs. Oh, was this free healing? Oh no, more toad. Which I guess isn't a problem, it just wasn't expecting that. Alright, it's toad time. 
subterranean lake, which is not the dwarven area, but we're in a lake, I guess. We just gotta not be toads, or combat's gonna be a bitch, I'm sure. And one step put us in combat, so it's a good thing. Oh, a back attack with bombs. They do a lot of damage. So let's try to use Blizzard. Do you think the bombs, which are blatantly made out of fire, will take more damage from Blizzard? Possibly? Oh yeah, they did. I believe Kirby will kill him. I believe. Yeah. Goodbye. Alright, well that's nice. Um... What else do we got here? Are there any items? There's one item. There's a chest. Golden Needle. Manticore. Preemptive Strike on the Manticores. Um, well, I'm largely gonna have my Black Mage do attacking, I think. Because they do have a lot of MP. Look at that, we didn't even suffer any attacks from the Manticores. Alright, some more chests down here. More of Zeus's Wrath. Some more Manticores. They hit pretty hard. And they know magic. All too bad they suck. And now they're dead. Um, uh, heal you, heal you. There we go, everyone's healed. Wow, Zeus is very angry. He had to store all of his wrath in this cave. Yeah, that, that, those are stalagmites. That, that is exactly what I think of when I think of stalagmites. Um, two chests and possibly an altar with an item on it. 300 gills. Um, another stalagmite and a merman. A man of the mer. And now he's a man of dead. Oh, well, you know, any second now. Any second now. There he goes. Yell. Who are you? Oh, it's a Gutsko. Ah, oh, stay back. Get away from the horn if you want to keep living. Wow. Look at that sprite. Okay. Well, I think that deserves a Thundara. I'm just gonna do a cure on everyone. Just because I can. And I'll do the same thing. I think I'll do the same thing again. Wowee, that was a lot of damage. No, I use a big cure on them. And you use general cure to top off everyone. That's probably gonna hurt. Oh yeah, that hurt alright. Well, you do that again. You do this again, and I think... I wonder how much melee damage he'll do. Definitely worth it to have the red mage use magic. Oof. Um... 
Well, he can't be that much more alive, right? Alright, the Red Mage didn't take much damage at all from the magic. So, we'll do another Thunder and another attack. I think, you know, we'll just keep the Red Mage topped off. And then we'll use a Blizzard. That's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, it did. And there he is. He just slain a naked man who is covered only by his snake. And I don't know where he was keeping the ice for uh, the horn of ice, but you know. Mysteries that should not be solved, perhaps. Now, if I use teleport, we don't even have to run back. Hmm? What is the Horn of Ice saying? Hmm? Why is it just there behind us? It's a horn! You're the best! Now put it back where it belongs, please. Hang on, I'll take down the ward. Ho ho! You can get through now and just leave the horn on the altar. What if I take the other one, though? Yep, just put her down. What if I put a canoe instead? Wouldn't they feel silly? Having a horn of ice and a canoe. Aha, oh, you fools didn't even notice me hiding in your shadows. Now both horns are mine for the taking. Oh, is that what that shit? I thought that was the horn of ice. Well, I see. With both horns of ice in my possession, I can extinguish any flame. The tunnel to the crystal poses no obstacle to me now. The power of the fire crystal belonged to me, Gutsko the Great. It's mine, all mine. Well, that is unfortunate, isn't it? I bet that low life is headed through the mountains in the north. Please, you got to get those horns back. Oh no, Gutsko fled into the cave to the north and he took the horns with him. This is bad. Real bad. You know what to do when something seems really bad? Take a nap. It's always what you gotta do. What a delicious nap. Um, where are there 16 dwarven chests, I wonder? Oh, I don't think I went down these stairs, did I? Dwarven Hollow is treasury. A boulder blocks the way. It blocks the way to... 16 treasure chests, though. Leave really that much. So, I will eventually have to figure out how to get rid of that boulder. Loot the dwarven thingies. How come- are you not guards? How come you didn't stop him? Lally ho! Lally ho! Cause that's- that's all they know how to do is they know how to lally and they know how to ho. Oh, what a long sailing voyage that was. Alright, well now we're in the Molten Cave, which has seven chests. On this floor, we have two. We're gonna roll to the left one first. Okata. What on God's green earth is that? I don't know, but they hurt, hurt very bad. Okay, well, this is an example of a back attack being very bad. A bad attack, one might say. Too bad I don't have any Phoenix Downs, because they're very expensive. Okay, let's just knock a back attack again, that would be ideal. Are we, like, fine? Is there a reason we're not taking damage in the lava? Rokata. Well, now that we're not suffering back decks, I should have had. Um. Mr. Black Mage using magic. Um. 
Um, yeah, we'll do that, and why don't you cure Kirby? Definitely need that cure now. Oh yeah, take that, nerd. And Arctic Wind. I like how the implication here is that we are fighting in lava. As if that's a completely normal thing for us to be doing. No, I don't know. That is a good question. But we are fine. I I really don't know. I don't know if there's like a key item. Maybe that. Or maybe the canoe is a holy artifact which keeps us safe from lava. I'm also willing to accept that as a possibility. You know what I'm going to accept as a possibility? I'm going to accept that I love that this is different from Final Fantasy 2 and that the dungeons aren't just chock full of dead ends for no discernible reason. And like a million different paths for no discernible reason. Yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna just have the same general lineup of actions. Wonderful. You know, here's walking in some more lava without injuries. Very good. Very, very good. Freezing blade. Is that a blade that perhaps you can use? Perhaps you can use? No. It's probably not something anyone can use. Oh, that hurts. Now that's kind of funny. Nothing here hurt except having lava be a waterfall. Walking in it's fine. But lava waterfall? That's just too far. Yeah, heal those wounds, those lava wounds. I think what I'm also going to do is use some potions because that is it's too much damage. I want to use all of my magical healing potentialities. In fact, that's fine. Um. Still got quite a few uses of it. So I think we'll keep doing that. Now I am running out of Blizzard from my Red Mage. Who can also use Cure. So I think we will just have them attack. And this should be the final floor based on how the trend has been going, right? There are two chests, those are the final chests, and nowhere to go? What? Oh, we probably have to interact with that boulder. Pyra, which did a lot of damage. And the Adamantoys is defeated. Ocean. Another fire up for a lot. Yeah, that's fine. We're all better. I potion. Now we 
are done with this dungeon as far as item collection goes. And I'll walk around the lava pit even if I don't think I have to. Fire crystal. Oh, there's the nerd. Ha ha ha, with the power of the fire crystal caution to me, I am unstoppable. Thing is, I can't tap into the true power of these flames so long as you goody goodies stand in my way. Nothing personal, but this is where you meet your maker. Let's go attack with the formidable power of the fire crystal. That does not look like Guts Crow anymore. That looks like some, like, reject from a Puff the Magic Dragon cartoon. Okay. Well. I'm just gonna preemptively cure, which may or may not be bad. I mean, it really depends on if, yeah. The mage goes first, of course. Oh, if only you didn't go first. Or we'll do a cure ra. Which hopefully again, my mage will go first. They did not. Wow. I love the random turn order in this game, sometimes. These games, plural. Like, why Why did they just not go first that time? Like, there's no clear or consistent rule to who attacks first. That's fine. We just need to not have that happen. Which probably means, um, doing the exact same thing, but hoping that he doesn't basically go back to back from going last and first on the following turn. Okay, see, that's fine. Ish. I say ish. That's a very important distinction. Because that's not a lot of healing. In fact, that's not enough healing at all, but I didn't want to do that first in case she didn't go first. That's probably gonna kill everyone again. Almost. It sure did almost kill everyone. Don't know how you missed your magic, but great job, doofus. Yeah, I think I know what I'm going to end up doing on this next attempt, because I'm definitely not killing it here. I'm going to have both my red mage and my white mage open up with blizzard, or cure, just in case. I mean, this, this hinges, again, on... The cure is going off after the damage occurs. But see, like here, I don't want that. I want it. I don't want it to come before the damage strikes. I want it to come after that. But there's no way to tell when that damage is going to be there. Wow! I cannot believe you missed that. Holy Lord, you suck. I don't know who's going to go first, so I have to have both of them use Cura. It also didn't even full heal, so I'm glad I'm going to have both of them use Cura, except that's probably going to kill someone. Yeah, that killed uh, Sonic. So that's a lot of our damage, just gone. I... Oh wow, okay. So now he decides not to use magic. But if I... I don't have a Phoenix Stone, but if I did and I tried to use it, you know there'd be problems. That does so much damage.
not gonna be enough, but... Yeah, my, my mage is not really cutting this. Either of them are. Um, we might be in a position for the first time in a while of playing Final Fantasy that we need to, like, actually do some leveling up. Because I don't know how else one would solve this situation. I mean, my red mage doesn't take that much damage. But not everyone is a red mage. And if I made them red mages, they would still be a level 1 red mage. So presumably wouldn't have the resilience that Kirby has. Okay, so... Presumably. I hope we can fight things right here. We're gonna have to fight things. Hopefully not for too long. I don't know if there's any gear I could use that would make a difference here, but... Um... You know... Some level ups would be nice. Strength, intellect. I, I don't know what magic defense would be. There's also the problem that I'm using magic to heal, which will run out. And the other problem is if they consistently attack the same target, it's going to result in a death that I can't do anything about. It's just going to take up even more time. How much magic? Wow, no. Like, very little in the way of cure, and very little potions. I mean, I can try- we leveled up, like, once, so this isn't gonna work, but I can try it again. Since it will have auto-saved from me walking through that door, so when I inevitably die, that's not gonna be as big of a deal. I just- it's not magic efficient to use Cure until I know that it's time to use Cure. One second. So that that's helpful. And then that'll happen. And that's actually better than it could have been because my red mage is set to use Cura as well, after the damage went out again, which is nice, but it's not enough, because my white mage is still set to die, essentially. I mean, there was a lot of damage from my black mage just there, so I'm hoping... that uh, we can somehow pull this off. No way. Yeah. I mean... 
can attempt our damages to keep healing. This is the last of my white mage's heals that I've got, so that's basically the last of my good heals. Even then, good is in quotation marks since it's cure, not cura. Yeah, and then that's like everyone dead. Once again, I can try to use items, but I don't think that's going to work. Oh my lord. Well, it worked! Kirby getting literally all of that experience. Alrighty. Warriors of Light, I bestow upon you the power of light kindled within my flames. Received a new title from the Fire Crystal. What do you mean title? Ranger, Knight, Thief, and Scholar jobs now available. Well, already. Um... I'm going to want to heal to take stock of this new development. We're safely back in Dwarfland. You know, with a whole bunch of dead people and some very heroic music. Who are you? Warriors of Light, you have to help us! Ugh! And what happened? Taco, oh, cool. my beloved home had nothing left to plunder, so they, they're putting it to the torch. Please, you have to save us! And can change his weakness on a whim. However, a scholar would be able to see through his tricks. Burk. Oh, it's another reality where dead people just disappear. No need for cemeteries or burials or funerals. Wait, how did you get them back when I haven't even been back yet? Let it ho! The horns are safe and sound! Wahoo! Here, you can have this as a key as a thank you for retrieving our horns. There's more in Geishel if you want them. Well, what do you mean, more in a guy? What is a magic key? Opens locked doors. Wow, that's great. You got back the horns of ice on most valuable treasures. Thank you. Um, I want to go out of the damn way. Oh, this isn't gonna solve the whole dead person issue. I need to go down to the water. At least it shouldn't, because it doesn't in the other games, yeah. Kirby, the last one alive. Oh wait, hold on, that that's uh, not the right area. That's toad water. Not... Damn. I still can't do anything about the boulder. Unfortunate. Can I go touch the crystals again? Oh, the horns of ice. So, was that item he gave me the item? Yeah. So now I'll just have to come back when I can figure out what to do about those. Um, everyone's still at 1 HP, so... Gotta take another nap. Alrighty. Um... What shall I do? I want to see jobs, so... We have... Four new jobs. Ranger, which seems pretty obvious. Knight, again, obvious. Thief. Obvious and scholar. Scholar. I 
have one impression of what a scholar might do because of Final Fantasy XIV, but that doesn't necessarily apply here, so I can't say for certain that I know what a scholar does. However, I like the knight because their outfit is reminiscent of a paladin outfit in fourteen. because I think in Japan the paladin is called knight. I'm not 100% sure. Either way, that's pretty interesting. Um, so I want to use the new jobs. So the question is, who should be what? Well, I tell you... Let's think of Kirby. Kirby... I, I, I don't know. Okay, well, we're gonna say let me let me put Kirby as the scholar just to see something. He cannot use any magic. It's nothing he has. So that's unfortunate. That is indeed unfortunate. Um, Sonic is going to be a knight. That's, that seems the most appropriate for many reasons, not the least of which wasn't he literally a knight in one of the shitty, the shitty, many shitty 3D games that came out between Adventure 2 and Mania? Uh, there we go. He's a, he's a knight, as he was always meant to be. Um. I think it's fair to assume that Ranger and Thief can't use magic either. So, I wouldn't want really anyone to be those. Is I use all three of these classes and their magic abilities extensively. Maybe less so Kirby. Like, maybe Kirby can be the Scholar. Especially since it was hinted that I would need a Scholar, so... Yeah, that, that seems appropriate to Kirby. The, the Thief and Ranger were just... gonna have to not be... So, now here comes the other important question, is uh, how do I best equip these two new classes? Scholar has nothing right now. Nothing there that would work. Nothing from armor, either. Um... Can the knight learn anything? I don't know, is there a magic shop here? No, not really. So we, I suppose, are gonna go to Tokol. I can remember where Tokol was. Tokol is that shitty town. Oh yeah, it's literally the shitty town. Before we go to Tokol, however, um, we're gonna deal with mermaids, apparently. Oh wow, I need to give Kirby a weapon. I need to find a place where they can buy a weapon. That is quite incredible. Quite incredible. W what, what is alchemy? What? You know, I'm just gonna... Okay, the potion worked better. Because normally it only restores 50. I guess. What does study do? Well, the merman's probably gonna be dead. I'm gonna have to... 
you study and see what the scholar can do after the fact. Okay. I have to see horse, so he can study the mermaid. HP 190, vulnerable to lightning. Okay, so it's an analysis, basically. It sounds about right, seems about right, seems fair. Sounds about pretty much what I expected, but you know. I still need to get them a weapon. And I guess items now. Because uh, they use items, because they have alchemy. Did not did not know that. Well we're almost to this other town, which if I'm not mistaken is the town of Geishel. Which will allow us to do something. I'm curious. If the town of Geishel is Geishel Greens. Uh, for those who haven't played modern Final Fantasy, um, Geishel Greens are a recurring item which is basically food for chocobos that they like. And I'm wondering if if the town's named Geishel, I'm assuming Geishel Greens aren't here, which would in turn mean that might be an item I can use in the chocobo forest for whatever, whatever it allows me to do. And that is what I'm willing to uh, find out, what I want to find out. Also, since it's a town, maybe it'll have better weapons and armor for me. Chest and five items. Cheap. Okay. I tend this flock. Hey now, I told you not to go over there. What's wrong? There's another sheep over there. such a handful, but that's the job, I suppose. Come back here, you woolly nuisance. Why do they have to be in this exact formation, according to your specifications? Yeah, okay. So there is some better magic. Kind of. Libra. Um. Sounds like it's better than Scholar. Not gonna lie. Zaga sounds nice. Um, I'm gonna sell the gnomish bread. And I guess the fire. Well, that was everything, so that's very unfortunate. But and learn Blizzaga, Shade, and Break. Blizzaga should be the best form of Blizzard. Oh my, how many years has it been since we've had visitors? Hardly anyone travels all the way out here. Hey! We can't just traipse all over my prize veggies. Hmm. But I wanted to talk to you. I didn't step on them, I stepped on the tile next to them. Just saying, sir. Well, I found a magic key. I, oh, I found Geishel Greens. I actually found, like, three of the items. Did not mean to leave. Although, I do need money, because I, one of the reasons I came here is I wanted to buy armor, and now I don't have any money, because I bought all the magic. It, it's a mess. I don't even have enough money to take a nap, I don't think. This isn't a healing, this is just to revive, isn't it? Yeah. They're not gonna give me free healing anymore. Nope, you're in the wider world now. You're bent if you want free healing.
Huh, well, that is very unfortunate, huh? Um, yeah. Have I been to this house? I don't think I have. Geishel, chocobo chamber. There's more Geishel grains. Let me tell you a secret. You know how chocobos love Geishel greens, right? But here's how to find the leader of the chocobo flock that lives in chocobo forest. Put a bushel of Geishel greens by the tree in the middle of the woods. If you're lucky, you may get a glimpse of that big fella. Oh, well, I need a glimpse of that big fella. That's all the items. Don't know where the chest is. To be fair, I haven't been in the other shops, because... You know... Why would I? Because I can't buy anything. Hey, how do I get back there to get that chest? What can I do for you? You could... Give me that chest. This guy sells magic keys, and that's all he does. Damn. Thought that maybe. Um, okay, well, let me check what everyone's health is at. But before I go farming money... Wait, this town doesn't even have an armor or weapon shop. Never mind. That's also something I probably should have checked before I started worrying about anything. Ambushed. Well, um, we're gonna use Thunder. And I'm gonna have you use your. Yes, you can still punch. What else are you gonna do? Okay, never mind. That, that was amazing, the instant. They sure were weak to lightning. Annette? You know what? I don't wanna use all my level 2 magic. So. Oh dear. That is not a lot of, uh, damage. They are definitely not at all weak to... The Blizzard, huh. Well, we're almost... Almost Chocobo Forest. We're gonna find the Chocobo Leader. Alright, here we are. The smell of Chocobo is in the air. Well, you know what that means. That means... Probably all the way at the bottom. Geishel Greens. Fat chocobo appeared. Wow, that is one big chocobo. Oh my lord. That's what they are? They're in item storage? But don't I have an unlimited inventory? Why, why would I... Would I why would I need to store items? You know? That's fine. We, we, we don't need to worry about that. Not at all. Um, one moment. There we go. Um, I did not mean to go there. I wanted to go left, and then up, and then left. But we need to go back to the town of Tokol. 
But I'm also gonna wanna rest to, uh... I'm also gonna stop in Kanan to maybe be able to buy something for Kirby now that there's Scholar. Hopefully. Yeah, so I'll just rest in Kanan before I hit up Tokol. I mean, supposedly we're going to Tokol to stop them from raising it to the ground, so... It stands to reason we might have combat. So... Yeah. Panji. Boom. Annihilated. Uh, where is Kanan? Kanan was... This way, right? Yeah, that's Kanan. Oh, I'm out of thunder. Oh no. Whatever will I do? Probably just beat them with physical attacks, as one is wont to do. So, we're gonna take a nap, and then we're gonna hit up the weapons and armor shops. Let me see if there's any items I can buy for alchemy purposes, I suppose. I mean, I don't think, yeah. I don't think alchemy sounds like it's gonna be that useful unless I can literally buy damaging items and they're not expensive. So I'm not sure how much I want Kirby to be a scholar. But we'll, we'll see. Well, there's nothing here that they can use. You know, do I even really need them to be a scholar? Because, like, I have Libra, which is displays HP and weaknesses. Yeah, fuck that. The question is, do I want a ranger or a thief? We'll do thief. Okay, now I'm gonna check here. Oh, look at the way the thief jumps for joy at the thought of getting even more knives. Like, uh... That's fine by me. Alright. And now Kirby is useful again. Yeah, I'm not doing Scholar. Tell you what. If I need Scholar, I will do it when I need it. It's a Hagen. I need to see if thieves can actually steal, which I would assume so. That would kind of sound like the point. Uh... Can't move. There they are. Seize them. Take that and that. Bring them along. Kizdalhine is always in need of fresh servants. Uh... Hein managed to gain immense strength, but it changed him. Now he's consumed by an unquenchable thirst for power. Wait, are these guys also in prison? I'm Argus, ruler of the castle north of the desert, but I can hardly call myself a king when all my subjects are missing. I am cursed my soldiers, you see, bending them to his will. Last of all, he was once my most trusted advisor. <laughs> are you alright, your majesty? I will be fine. What matters is that you find Hein and defeat him. Warlock Hein carved this castle out of the Elder Tree and cursed it to roam the desert of this building. Oh, we're in the big desert, meatball. Master Hein was Argus's most trusted advisor until the earthquake. Like he's been at the behest of some dark force ever since. And that traitor Hein has hidden King Argus's blade, the royal sword, somewhere. I found a way out, an opening in the corner to my left. I won't live long enough to escape, but you might. 
use this to shrink yourselves. Ugh. Well, A, I already have that, and B, why did you even die? Well, this might be interesting. Oh boy, it's literally a maze. There's also 11 chests, and we already got the item. That's nice. Um, there's a chest here, and chest presumably through a secret passage. Can I unmini? Because, like, I don't want to waste the um the magic slot, but you know, I know we're gonna get into combat, so. Pharaoh. No, that looks like a mummy. Got to say that, that don't be looking like a pharaoh. Alrighty. Sleep doesn't last. Does it? No. Blind does, but that I'm willing to deal with blind. Okay, at least I didn't have to be mini. Three thousand gil. Ooh. I'll never say no to snake ladies. Unfortunately, she must die, as must all in my path. Alright, what have we here? Even more chests. Um, how many more chests do we need? We only need five more. Look, no dead ends, unlike Final Fantasy 2. Very good. Wow, that 21 damage made the difference. Alright, we have another chest and another secret path. We have some more arrows to fight. The thief is very sleepy yet again. I mean, it makes sense that Kirby would be the one sleeping. Alrighty. Oh wait, I didn't even open the chest. Royal Sword. Okay. I don't think anyone can equip it, but... Oh, yep. The Knight can. Royal Sword and Freezing Blade. Now that sounds fun. Alright, there's yet another chest. Arrow and a Lemur. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't think I have any access to, like, going back to a healing spot. So I'm gonna want to be careful, he thinks. I'm gonna stop using magic. Well, I mean, I have enough higher level magic, presumably. Like, I have up to two Blizzagas, four Blizzaras. Yeah, but if he changes his weakness to fire, then that's all I've got. I will continue it for maybe one or two more fights, depending on how much it gets cost. Oh, I'm, I'm glad I looked at my, like, non-spoiler missables list, because there are creatures that I need to get here. Um, I already got Pharaoh, Lemur, Lamia. I need to fight Demon and Dullahan while I'm still in this dungeon thing. Oh, is that a Healy Dealy? No, it's just water. There's an elixir. Yeah, there's more pharaohs and lemurs, but it doesn't really help. 
Um, while this is going on, I will be right back because I think my girlfriend's food is here. So give me one momento. Yes, it was here. Oh. There we go, that's that. And... Um, I need to heal, which I'm gonna use potions for. And I guess I'm gonna have to use magic now. So I still need to encounter two different creatures. Let me see what's through here. I feel that that might be the final boss. So I'm not entirely sure what to expect in that regard. Um, Let me just make sure that um, I don't have to find either of these creatures on a specific floor. Because that would... ...not be ideal. Um... Okay, I do have to go back for the Dullahan, but I think the demon I do not. So... Let me do that. Boy, I love confusion. I really hope confusion wears off, yeah. That's nice. So... This was not the room, I don't believe. Oh wow, these things do so much damage. But I really can't afford to use magic, because I keep running out. Or I will keep running out. I'm not entirely sure what to do otherwise. Um, I think this was the room that has the Delahan. So I'm gonna have to use High Potion. And... And hope beyond hope that... We, um... Survive. I don't know if I'm underleveled or anything. Maybe? I'm not entirely sure. I mean, like, I can't, like, face troll auto battle a lot of stuff like I did in the previous game, but that just might be because the game is a bit different. I do have some Phoenix Downs, but that doesn't change the fact that I am going to very quickly run out of magic, both healing and otherwise. Well, there's that, um... I guess I will try to use Blizzard on it, and then try to attack it. I do have Steel as an ability for the Thief, but I don't know... I really want to. Oh my lord! Yeah, 
Yeah, honestly, I'm just gonna stay as Red Mage for Kirby. Because A, I need the magic. Oh, it doesn't last because I just changed it. Well, that is unfortunate. But at least they know what they're doing as a Red Mage. And I don't really... The fights don't last long enough for me to want to steal. In later Final Fantasies, stealing is a more major thing. Like, you can get unique items or really, really good items consistently. Maybe you can do that in this one too, but I mean... There's nothing missable. There's nothing you can get only from stealing. From what I've seen from, uh... Well, from what I understand, just because I have no recommendation to use the thief on my spoiler free, don't miss anything page. So, I'm not gonna worry about that too much. I wish I would have had the foresight to not have Kirby be a thief. Oh, that must be Hein. Well, we got everything. Well, no, we're still missing a creature. L let me save. Oh, I can't save in here. Oh, I can quick save. Hold on. Like, that is Hein, right? It's Hein the Mage. The Fountain of Corruption. Dark power is truly spectacular. You can never understand. With this power, I can move forest, control armies. I can hold the world in the palm of my hand. All those who dare oppose me will be annihilated. Yeah. So... I don't really want to win the fight, because... I still have a creature to get, but I'm just gonna see how it goes regardless. Since I did quick save, no weaknesses. Okay. Okay, well, he doesn't seem so bad. Hey, okay, there's the change of weakness. At least it, like, obviously says. Um... I'm just gonna try doing that and try using a Libra. Vulnerable to fire. Oh wow, he actually healed from Blizzard. That's unfortunate. But he does take a lot of damage from fire. And now that probably heals him, right? Yeah. I'm just gonna... Yes, the thunder is what he's weak to. I don't know why I'm doing this fight, because I, I need to, to lose. So I can go back. Well, apparently it can randomly spawn, but well, I mean, that was pretty obvious. The more important thing is, um, I just looked up to see if someone had advice on finding it, and there apparently is a way to refill your HP and MP, which, you know, would be nice. So, I'm going to try to do that.
Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use Scholar or not. Still, because uh, yeah, I have Libra, but I have two uses of it, and he definitely barrier shifts more than twice, which is obviously not going to be helpful. I can't believe that they're not dead still. I mean, they're gonna die now, but still, they lasted way longer than I thought they would on auto. To be fair, he wastes entire turns during barrier shift. Okay, so well, that's fine. So. Let me find Demon. Oh, yeah, I looked up the wrong thing. I searched for Dullahan again. When I looked at that, that thread. Demon. Is what I'm looking for. But I'm not entirely sure. Either way, I will try to go back and heal, if nothing else, because I want to fight Hein with full magic. And especially knowing that I can heal, apparently. Well, that's very helpful, suffice to say. Oh wow, look at that beautiful damage. I might have to use a mini again. Oh, there's a demon. Well, that solves that. Okay, well, we have all of the monsters now. But I still want to go back and heal. And, like, restore MP, especially for Kirby, who is now a red mage. Because that would be ideal. I don't know where I'm supposed to heal. Maybe one of the NPCs can heal me. That's typically a thing. It is very nice that the game offers you a way to heal, despite being imprisoned. The other question is, how? Um... Aha! A pot, which is just full of heal juice. Alright. The heal juice did not... Okay, so... I find it funny that that didn't restore blind, so we're gonna get unblind, and then we're gonna hit restore the NP that I just spent. In fact, we'll take it one step further. We'll mini restore our MP. Go here. Now on mini. So we have max magic. Wait, I thought that restored MP. Oh yeah, yeah it did. I misread. I had a dyslexia moment where I thought it said my white mage did 12 out of 21. Of course, now this, this jerk is here. Immediately. So, the major thing here, however, is... While Scholar would be useful, yes, in theory. Because the job level on Scholar is so low, Kirby would die pretty hardcore in that fight as a Scholar. Which would defeat the purpose of having him as a Scholar. So I think that I'm going to just rely on the two Libras I have in Trial and Error. Which may not be the best thing, but it is the thing that I'm going to try doing. Listen, Lamia. Get out of here. Alright, then we will... Um, do some cures, get everyone 
popped off. Just in case we have a bad encounter on our way to right here. One more Lamia, which we will kill before she gets to do anything, because it's a preemptive strike. Boom, boom. And now we're going to fight Hein again. Not Hein again, Hein again. There he is, hiding about. So, let's do another quick save and try him out. Master Hein. You know, I want to see something. Because his outfit looks very familiar. That is who that's supposed to be. Right? Or is it? I don't know. That wouldn't make sense, though. Because it's not. But it kind of does. You know, I'll wait until I get to Crystal Tower. Which I know is in this game, that's not really a spoiler. I've known for a while. But I don't know what's in it in this version, compared to Final Fantasy XIV. There's a boss in Crystal Tower in Final Fantasy XIII, or XIV. It looks like this guy, and I'm not sure if that's the same, or if there's a- if he... ...comes back or something, so I'll, I'll wait to draw a comparison until... ...until I get to that point, I think. So... Let's just attack him. So, we are going to do a thunder, I think. Just to open this up with. And an arrow. And a blizzard. Because he hasn't done any weakness resistance yet. What time it is? It is... So we're almost at the halfway point. I will need to take an actual break in between Final Fantasy 3 and Tomba 2. Just for reference, it might be anywhere from 15 to 25 minutes, I estimate. But that won't reduce the amount of time I stream Tomba. This means I will be taking a break. Because A, food got here, and then there's like some other minor stuff I need to take care of. Just for reference. Um... Magic. I'm gonna use Blizzard, and then I think I'll keep the same. He should be using Barrier Shift. Nope, he's, he's using Fire, that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna do that again, except I will have. Yeah, Luigi will cure Robotnik. There's Barrier Shift. The question is, what is he weak to? And what is he healed by? He's weak to Blizzard. Oh, that's so lucky that I just guessed it right without having to use it. Okay, Blizzaga. Blizzaga is a big boy Blizzard spell. We are going to see if this hurts him. Big time rush. Yeah, you got Blizzara. Well, I got Blizzaga. So we'll get bent. As soon as I cast it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah! Get wrecked. Now that's nice. There's a voice coming from the wall. Warriors, I thank you. Wait a minute, did the wall just speak? I am the Elder Tree of the Living Woods. I am cast a powerful curse on me. Thanks to you, that curse is now broken. I am in your debt. Before I head back to my woods, I will return the humans locked within my walls to where their roots belong. Huzzah, thank you. Let us be off. The journey may not be smooth, but journeys seldom are.
Yeah. Flying meatball tree. Too bad I can't use the tree as an airship, because they can go over mountains. We have arrived, saplings. You may alight. Let's get down. All the fairies. At long last, I'm back where I belong. Thank you. You saved our woods, how heroic. Darkness threatens to envelop our world. You have been chosen by the light to ensure balance is not set. Take this with you. Use it to find your way when darkness blocks your path. The Fang of Wind. Alright, I will gladly take that. Iron's atrocities wrought havoc within my roots and trunk. I fear I must refuse visitors to these woods for at least a millennium while I heal. Warriors, you have my thanks. I go and dispel the darkness of the world. You are our last hope. Oh. We literally can't go in there now. Not that there's anything interesting there to do, but, you know. Hey, our boat! Okay, we can still get to our boat, I was about to say. I'd be very upset if I couldn't get to my boat. Um, the question is, what do? I got some water fang, and that is all I know of. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, Tokol is such a happy town now. The folks we, who were captured by Heinz men have returned to thank you for rescuing them. Now they're not going to run away in fear anymore. Look at us, warriors of light, saving the world. You know, I'm going to take a nap somewhere regardless, so... I just want to see Blizzaga annihilate these creatures. Immensely satisfying. Use raw, uncut magic to destroy. Um, I have no direction, and I... Have, well, I was already able to access the whole map, so presumably I have to access somewhere else now? Because I don't know where else I would go at this point, so... I wonder if I can... if Sid made an airship by now. Because I think he was doing that. Plus, presumably, I would now have to go to somewhere I would not be able to have access before going to Tokol. And since I could... since I was previously able to access everywhere, with the waterfall thing gone, Yeah, but where would an airship go? Because where else is there to go? Well, like I said, there's probably another map. Again, finally. Although, to be fair, not all Final Fantasies have multiple maps. In fact, I can really only think of... six that technically had more than one map. But it is something that happens. Um, that said, where the f where is Sid? Is this Sid? Does Sid live here? I know Sid lives in Canaan. I just can't remember where Sid lived in Canaan. He does live in Canaan, right? Oh, he's in the upper leftern-most house. Tony, we had to wait of time. Like, the book series? I got a canoe and a fang of wind. What the fuck is the Wheel of Time? I think he might have mentioned that, but that really doesn't help me any. Like, at all. Can't say it does. So, where is Wheel of Time? Besides at Barnes and Noble. 
Well, here is when we will use the power of Sight. So there are three areas on the map, but again, it doesn't look like it can access them. Because two are within mountains and one is within, also within mountains technically, but it's within a lake within mountains. So... I don't know. Um, give me just a moment here, um, because this might be my stopping point, and therefore break point. Alright, well, uh, I am not actually going to take a break, so... There's no need. Things have been taken care of. I will do food later. Which means that for the now, we are going to save and uh, move to Tampa 2. So, this is a, a fine point for it. And with that, we have made a fair amount of progress, though I don't know where to go now, but you know, still, a fair amount of progress has been made. I'm gonna double save, just be safe. And then we're gonna quit that.